Hi guys, welcome to more AI science video. Today we're going to talk about how to use large language models in a single GPU. I wish you like. <music> Using uh, large language models is a hard task. Uh, one reason is because you have a large number of parameters. Here we, you can see in the graph on the right that Palm have uh, four, uh, 540 billions of parameters. Bloom have more than 100 and a half uh, billions of parameters. So use large language model is a, a need to you have a large or a large capacity hardware and a large capacity memory uh, if you see the if the if you see this graph you can see the natural language processing moore's law uh, you can see the the increase of memory needed but to to run our large language model uh, and the increased number of parameters here. Uh, for, for example, switch transformer of Google uh, requires uh, 1,600 uh, number of parameters here. So, uh, a, a, a good solution for this problem is use quantiz quantization in large language models. And we need to understand what is quantization. Quantization is to use large language models to reduce the number of, of uh, uh, la la not, not reduce the number of layers, but reduce the, the interval of numeric numbers. Uh, for example, you have in the nodes float values, and you can change for uh, this float val values to integer values, uh, reduces the, the domain of the this numbers in the nodes. This is the, what quantization do for us. Uh, there are two main types of quantizations. The first type, I say, uh, it, it is what I say, the, the weight quantization. You change high precision data type like float points to lower precision data types, uh, like integers, uh, something like that. Uh, the other type of quantization, quantizations is to use activation quantizations, uh, using quant quantizations in the intermediate activation values that propagate to the layers of the neural network. Uh, like the weight quantization, this involves representing activation using a reduced number of bits or like integer, 8 bit in integers, for example. Uh, this is a sample how to quantization works. You have in the, the left the, a matrix of, of, of numbers, and you use a, a map here. The map you have an a, a integer number, and this integer number in the map uh, direct. Uh, uh, is a point to the float number. So you can quantize the, the uh, float point numbers to integer numbers uh, matrix here. And if you, if you want, with this map, you can undo the quantization. You can do the quantization and, and you can undo the quantization here, okay? One way of use quantization is to use R large language model API or R large language model library. You, we're going to use this library to use our large language model in Google Colab to uh, answer a, a question and answer text problem here. We're going to see this in the practice, in the hands-on, 
and the link of the Collab notebook is going to be in the video description. The first step is to install a large language model. Here you're going to use pipe to install, uh, add, uh, install and update our language, our uh, large language model here. You're going to install this, and the second step is to download the model that that you go, wish to to use. In in this sample, we're going to use the Garage B A N Play Play T apps plus to uh, seven uh, billion uh, model. This model here. Sorry for my English. I. I I am Brazilian and I don't have the preferred English. I am learning. So I'm going to improve this in, in this, my English speech in the R videos. Okay. Uh, here you're going to use the input text and you have in this input text the, the phrase I like. Uh, and I'm going to tokenize the text. This is a, a, a mandatory step is to tokenize the, the, the string to tokens here. And we're going to use return tensor. Uh, you're going to use tru truncation. The max size here is 128 uh, words. Uh, uh, this is the max length. And you're going to generate the response for that. Okay, we, now we're going to generate using CUDA to use GPU uh, and the max new tokens is, is three. So uh, you're going to tokenize and decode the, the generation. And here you can see the download of the model. And here you can see the response. I like to do things off. So my question is, I like, and the model uh, answer, I like to think, I like to think of, okay? You can experiment, uh, do other questions to the, mo to the model. Uh, in this collab, this collab you can uh, save and, and run for yourself and do you, your uh, sample for our large language model. Uh, I, I wish you, you like this sample here, okay?